everybody, it's Sage Valentine, aka Etherblade, and this is my review of Survivor 28, Kageyan, Season 28, Episode 5, We Found Our Zombies. This episode began with what I'm calling the battle royale between Trish and Lindsay. Trish felt the need to, you know, basically clear the air as she says after returning from tribal council and you know cliff was obviously voted out she just went after Lindsay, just saying a whole bunch of things and the whole clip how trish and Lindsay thing annoyed the crap out of me in episode one and i've told you guys if you watch my first video that eventually this was going to come to a hilt something was going to happen and this was the episode that it happened in Trish just said a whole bunch of different things and, oh, you're mad because Cliff is gone. Obviously, she's mad, Trish. We don't need that. But anyway, Lindsay just went off and said, you know what? You guys screwed up majorly. I will respect you, Trish, but I don't like you. And she said, I'm on the team of Solana, but I am not a part of your team, Trish. And, um... You're annoying, Trish. Tony's trying to play Peacemaker, which I could see right through because Tony started this dissension completely. Tony's just been weaving his webs all through this season so far, and he's going to continue doing it until somebody finally snips his thread. Okay, um, Lindsay decides she's going to avoid Trish, and she says that she's... I think she's going to avoid Trish, and she disappears. Trish is like, um, Lindsay is not used to being called out. I don't know how she thought that was being called out, but really it was starting a very immature, um, you know, conversation between you and somebody else who's already upset. And if you want morale to be up, you just succeeded in lowering it by lowering yourself to having such a horrible argument like you did Trish. Trish is not my favorite uh, character, as you know. Trish is like up there with Jatia. Can't stand her. And Tony. Can't stand them either. Um, meanwhile, through this whole thing, um, Tony, like I said, is trying to play Peacemaker. Jeff was smiling, so this was a part of Jeffra's plan. So maybe the edited parts that we didn't see is Jeffra and LJ putting little seeds into this soil and trying to build up weeds to pull the rest of uh, Apari down. Who knows, but somebody, I didn't like that smile either. Um, Lindsay wants to basically leave. She's sitting on the beach in her underwear. It's cold. She's like wrapped up in something. Jeff Profs comes to her and I'm thinking it's LJ. I don't know why I thought it was LJ. She said she's afraid to leave she's afraid that she will do something and she'll regret it that's why she wants to go she doesn't want to embarrass her daughter and she's like i can understand where she's going because or how she's feeling i should say because you know she has a child she doesn't want to look stupid yes she quit the game yes she lost a million dollars but then again who said she was going to win a million dollars with all these people in this season but um she took the high road and she left and I respect her for it because she's a stronger person than me because I probably would have gotten pretty upset myself. And quite a few people would have said something about um, Cass's hanging skin because I'm, I'm kind of sick of seeing that skin hanging. I'm not even trying to get personal, but Cass, cover up. Put something on because you look like death. Put something on. Trish. I'm saying Cass. Trish. Um, Like I said... I'm sad that she left. Trish went way too far and pushed this girl, and this girl just left, regardless of what everyone else thinks. But she joins Colton, Brandon, and Kelly as one of four people who just quit because they couldn't handle it. Brandon Hans is the one who peed in the um, rice that I was talking about. Yeah. Remember that episode? I don't know if it was the last review or the review before that, but I definitely mentioned Brandon Hans peeing in the... Um, the rice, yeah, that was kind of nasty. So Tony right now is in seventh heaven. He's running the game. He's basically saying that um, we can turn the head, basically we turn the head um, of, which was Cliff, and the body will follow. So they took out Cliff, and then 
here goes Lindsay. So I guess Wu is the next one to go. Although he doesn't think so. Because he feels like they can have a fresh start. And I'm like, Wu, sweetheart, I don't care what you do. You need to be careful. And all those ignorant things that Trish keeps saying about, you know, samurai and fried rice. Like, Trish, seriously. Seriously, Trish. No. No. Mm -mm. So, um... They go to their first reward challenge, um, and they win. And the reward that they end up getting is what they call a tribal raid, where they can go to the other tribe and they can win, like, I guess, go through their stuff and get all the stuff. But they receive a scroll, and on the scroll there's two little um, passages, if you will. There's one that gives them a list of things that they can pick that they can take from the tribe. There's another one that gives them a clue to the immunity idol. So Tony hatches this plan after describing, you know, how much energy they have now that Cliff and Lindsay are gone. That was part of his plan. I guess Trish doesn't know she's on that plan too, FYI. Oh, should I say she's on she's on his agenda next? There you go. Um Tony wants to pick somebody out, give them the um clue and stir the pot at a, a party. So he hands the clue to Jeremiah right in front of his tribe. And they take him to the side and he reads the clue and then he keeps the clue. And then um, they come back and I guess they get the clue. But Tasha has like this weird inkling. She says they are sending the signal, we want to work with you to Jeremiah. So Tasha's a little iffy. And Tasha's on my list of uh, awesome players under LJ. Awesome, Tasha. Tasha's kicking ass. So Jeremiah thinks that he's the next to leave, obviously, because of what happened. But he's not fooled. He knows what's going on. He knows what Tony's doing because he had seen that idol clue before from his uh, his camp or his beach. So Tony's stupid. Tony, well, not that stupid, but Tony thinks he's stupid. Tony and Wu basically took most of their luxuries except for the tarp. Why they didn't take the tarp, I don't know. And a lot of people on um, Twitter were like, why didn't they take the tarp? Because they already did damage as it was. So Tony goes back to his tribe, reveals that not only that um, he tried to call Jeremiah out in front of his, his um, team or in front of his tribe, but he exposes that he lied in saying that he was a construction worker and that he's a cop. LJ, LJ, LJ my player obviously picked up on this and was like listen he said i'm on to you he said funny how you decide that you want us all to believe you but then you lied about your job so lj my spirit animals picking up on what's going on so tony better watch out alexis and jerem and uh, spencer are talking about jeremiah they said Jer well alexis says jeremiah's stupid and Alexa, spare, da, 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 da. every time I do these things, I get tongue-tied. I'm so sorry, guys. Spencer says that Alexis is phony and not to be trusted. Spencer is correct, because when they had that merge, and um, Alexis was the first one up there just yapping up a storm about the beauties, that was a red flag. She just didn't figure that out. The brains were on alert with her from that moment. So Jeremiah reveals, like I said, it was the same clue from his his um camp. He knows what's going on, but too bad Spencer and Alexis don't believe him. I feel like they're stupid in that scene, but then I'm like, here's me watching at home. I don't know what they're seeing, but I would kind of go with him. Like, why would they call him out in front of us? But Jeremiah brought it on himself because he can't be trusted. Maybe he should have stayed in that alliance with Morgan and um, Bryce. Sucks for you, Jeremiah. So they had an immunity challenge and Solana won. Okay. And Sarah comes to the realization that she, she, and, Cop, she and Tony's relationship is done and that whole cops are arresting is over because Tony's hugging a couple people on his team and yelling top five final five top five final five 
I told you Tony thinks he runs this game. Tony thinks that he is God in this game. Like, you're about to be struck down pretty soon by LJ. LJ is just building his army, but he's going to take you down. I'm waiting for that. Sarah was just a pawn, in my opinion, which she was to carry out that plan with Cliff. Once she did that and once um, Tony moved on to that next tribe, Tony had no use for her. But then he might be foolish enough to think later in the game that he can still, you know, use her. But Sarah's no fool. So, back at Apari, Jeremiah said Tony was stupid for saying top five, and he kind of repeated what Tony said. Alexis outs Jeremiah as the sixth member in this whole thing and says that he will give you his word, but then he will lie. Alexis forgets that Morgan is the person who he lied to. He never lied to LJ, Jeffrey, and Alexis. She forgets about that. And then, um... Spencer considers who's the bigger liability, Jeremiah or Alexis. You got Jeremiah who's kicking butt at all of these um at all of these challenges and he's pulling his weight and he's working pretty hard. I mean, no they didn't win any challenges today, but they were they were um giving them all for their money, if I'm saying that um saying correct. They're putting they're all into it. So Tasha, Cass, and Spencer know that they're in control and they vote as a block and they don't break that block. And I hope they go to the end, those three, and just do not break your block. Just tear everybody else down and keep going with LJ, but keep going. Um, beauty is fractured, as you know, because Alexis felt the need to, you know, run forth and tell her side of the story and then Morgan told her side of Jeremiah told her side his side after the merge so Morgan doesn't trust Jeremiah Alexis doesn't trust Jeremiah and then Morgan doesn't trust Alexis either so these three can easily be torn apart Sarah's on the out so she's in the middle of the beauties and the brains and then Sarah is one brawn so Morgan kind of puts Jeremiah and Alexis as the odd man out for flipping when they get to tribal council. And I agree with what she's saying because either one of them can flip, but then Morgan could flip too. Because Morgan is on a, on a roll. She wants to get out LJ or no, she wants to get out Jeremiah. So Morgan could flip and become part of Tony's army. God only knows. So... Alexis figures that everybody's taking out Jeremiah, so the poor girl is, like, so gung-ho on this fact that Jeremiah is going home. However, she ends up being blindsided. Because I think Jeremiah only got, like, maybe one vote, and everybody else just voted Alexis out. Oh, no, she, oh, Jeremiah, I think, got three votes, and Alexis got four votes. So she walks away in tears and she's crying, but she forgets she was the first person to tell the brains and flip on her tribe mates. And then the brains are probably thinking, well, you're outing Jeremiah, but what about you? You never really, you heard Morgan say a couple things, but you never really heard Morgan gu being gung-ho to get out Jeremiah. She doesn't like Jeremiah. Jeremiah is on her hit list. But she didn't keep pressing the fact that she wanted him out. That was a red flag. And like I said, poor Alexis was gung-ho to get him out. Now, next week is supposed to be a merge. This merge is going to be a hot mess, especially with Tony. Because now Tony's going to have to face the fact of what he said while he was yelling. And it's going to come back and bite him in the butt. The brains are going to stay together. The, I guess, Tony's going to try to keep his alliance. But they're going to try to get, I think the brains are going to try to get everybody out or... Or, if possible, LJ is going to try to work to get Tony out. Because LJ really doesn't trust Tony that much. So, this episode is pretty good. Um, each week is a different blindside. So, I kind of wish Survivor would change their name to Blindside. Because each week has been a different blindside. Save for Jatia. Because we all knew Jatia was going regardless one of those days she was out but the rest of them blind side more importantly um now my favorite players are lj Cass, spencer and tasha like i said i might throw um morgan on there a little bit <clears throat> because morgan needs a tad bit of support 
because Morgan, like Sarah, is the odd man out. Morgan really has nobody to align with because she damn sure doesn't trust Jeremiah. So how do I think the alliance is going to go? Like I just said, Tony is enemy, not public enemy number one. So unless he's able to, whether well, he does have an immunity idol, but if they're able to convince Tony not to use his idol and Tony's just as foolish as the rest of these guys in not bringing their idols, Tony may go home. But anywho, um, or anyways, um, that's my review. So if you guys have any predictions as to what's going to happen in the next episode, definitely post it down and let me know. Because I really do want to know what you think. And do you think that um, Jeremiah should have gone before Alexis? Or do you think they made a good idea and made a, um, a good choice? Sorry about the idea. A good choice in getting Alexis out. M more importantly, what do you think about Lindsay leaving? I would like to know what everyone thinks. Because like I said, I respect her for sticking to her values. But I'm still kind of disappointed that she just gave up and gave... Tosh the game, or Trish, Tosh, Trish the game. So just definitely let me know and comment, definitely. And if you like my videos, definitely subscribe and check out my playlist. If this is the first video that you've watched, check out my Survivor playlist. Um, if you would like to continue chatting, I'm at Sage Valentine on Twitter.com. Um, check out my blog, The Truth Is, on WordPress. I hope you can handle it on Blogger. And I am 1,000 heartbeats on Tumblr, so check it out. So, anywho, everyone, thank you for thank you for watching, and I hope you guys are able to get through this, because for some reason I'm just like this pausing thing, and I just keep getting a brain fart. So, <laughs> if you enjoy my brand of crazy, my reviews, or anything else, definitely subscribe, and if you like the video, thumbs up. I'd like more subscribers. Hey, we can all chat, and... Thank you to all the subscribers I have now, and thanks for uh, tuning in and watching and just giving me a go. So, anywho, guys, uh, Sage Valentine. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>